Hey future game developers, ready to turn your game ideas into reality? Today I'm showing you the complete step-by-step -step process to install Unity, the game engine behind some of the world's most popular games like Hearthstone, Cuphead, and Monument Valley. Best part? It's completely free to get started. By the end of this video, you'll have Unity fully installed and ready to create games for Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, and even web browsers, all from a single code base. Let's dive right in. First, let's head to Unity's official website. I'm opening Chrome and searching for Unity. Make sure you're going to unity.com, the official site. Notice there are two main buttons here, Download and Plans and Pricing. Before we download anything, let's quickly check out the pricing to show you something amazing. Click on Plans and Pricing. Here's what makes Unity incredible for indie developers and beginners. The personal plan is completely free as long as your Unity-generated revenue stays under $200,000 USD over 12 months. That means you can create, publish, and even sell your games without paying a single penny to Unity until you're making serious money. This is why Unity has become the go-to choice for indie developers worldwide. Now let's go back and start our download. Back on the home page, click that download button. Perfect. Uh, we're now on the download page. Notice the URL shows we're in the right place. You'll see three options, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Since we're on Windows, I'll click Download for Windows. This downloads Unity Hub. Think of it as your command center for managing different Unity versions and projects. Uh, the download is starting now. Unity Hub is relatively small, so this should be quick, depending on your internet speed. Great. Download complete. Let's click on the downloaded file to start the installation. First step, accept the license agreement. Pretty standard stuff here. Next, you can browse and change the installation location if you want, but the default location works perfectly fine for most users, so I'll stick with that and click install. Unity Hub installs super fast, just a few seconds and we're done. Make sure to keep Run Unity Hub checked and click finish. Here's the Unity Hub welcome screen, and the first thing we need to do is sign in or create an account. Let me show you how to create one from scratch. Click Create Account. This opens the Sign In page in your browser. Unity makes this super convenient by letting you sign up with Google, Google, Apple, Facebook, or create a traditional account. I'll choose Continue with Google for simplicity. Select your Google account and click Continue. And just like that, your Unity account is created. You might see some terms and conditions, just accept those. Now you might wonder, why do I need an account? Here's the thing, your Unity account isn't just for logging in. It's your gateway to Unity's entire ecosystem. You'll use it to access the asset store with thousands of free and paid assets, manage your game analytics, handle monetization when your games start making money, and even access Unity's cloud services. We'll explore all these features in upcoming videos. So make sure you're subscribed. Back to Unity Hub, click Sign In. Your browser will ask about opening Unity Hub. Click Open Unity Hub. Boom, you're now signed into Unity. Close the browser window. Unity Hub is automatically suggesting we install the latest Unity Editor. You can see the Install Unity Editor button here. You can either click this for automatic installation or click skip installation to choose manually. I'll click skip installation to show you the manual way. This gives you more control over versions and modules, plus it's good to know in case this automatic prompt doesn't appear. Unity Hub is asking us to activate the personal license. Since we're eligible for the free personal plan, simply click agree and we're all set. Now comes the main event, installing the Unity editor itself. You'll notice the Installs tab is currently empty because we haven't installed any Unity versions yet. Click Install Editor and you'll see all available versions. You've got the latest stable release, LTS, uh, long-term support, support versions for maximum stability, and pre-release versions if you want to experiment with cutting-edge features. I'm going with the recommended latest version. Click Install. Here's where many beginners make mistakes, so pay attention. We need to select modules based on what platforms we want to develop for. First, Visual Studio Community. If you don't already have it installed, keep this selected. It's your code editor and it's essential for Unity development. Now for platforms, and here's where Unity's real power shines. 
With Unity, you write your code once and deploy to multiple platforms. Want to make a mobile game? Select Android Build Support and iOS Build Support. Planning a web game? Add WebGL Build Support. Want it on Windows PCs? Include Windows Build Support. I'm selecting all of these because Unity's Write Once, Deploy Everywhere philosophy is game-changing for indie developers. Imagine creating one game and launching it on mobile app stores, Steam, and web browsers simultaneously. Also selecting Documentation. Trust me, you'll need this while learning. Click Continue to proceed with our selected modules. You'll need to agree to terms and conditions for Visual Studio and Android SDK NDK. Just check the agreements and click Install. Now the real download begins. You can track progress from the download icon in the top right corner. Fair warning, this is going to take a while. On my system with decent internet, it took about 50 minutes for everything. The actual time depends on your internet speed and selected modules. Unity downloads all modules first, then installs them one by one. Perfect time to grab a coffee or plan your first game idea. When Visual Studio's turn comes, it'll prompt you to continue. Click Continue. This launches the Visual Studio installer where we select additional workloads. Here's what you need. Under Desktop and Mobile, select Net Desktop Development. This includes helpful tools for Unity development. Under Gaming, select Game Development with Unity. This is essential and specifically designed for Unity developers. Click Install while downloading to speed up the process. After Visual Studio downloads, you'll see a sign-in screen. You can sign in, create an account, or skip your choice. I'll quickly sign in. Choose your preferred theme. I'm going with the dark theme because, let's be honest, it looks more professional. For development settings, select Visual C Sharp since that's the primary language for Unity scripting. Click Start Visual Studio. Perfect, Visual Studio is ready. You can close it for now. Back in Unity Hub, check the Installs tab. There's our Unity installation. Everything's ready to go. Let's take a quick peek at project creation. Click the Projects tab, then New Project. You'll see various templates. Select Core and choose 3D Built-in Render Pipeline. You can download templates, name your project, and click Create Project. For first-time users, you'll need to agree to Unity Editor software terms. And there you have it. Unity is completely installed and ready to enter and ready to bring your game ideas to life. In our next video, we'll create your very first Unity project, and I'll give you a complete tour of the Unity Editor interface. You'll learn about the scene view, game view, inspector, and all the essential tools you need to start building games. What kind of game are you planning to create? Drop a comment below. I love hearing about your project ideas. If this tutorial helped you get Unity installed, smash that like button, share it with fellow aspiring game developers, and don't forget to subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Remember, every successful game developer started exactly where you are right now. Your journey into game development begins today. See you in the next video where we'll start building your first Unity project. Until then, keep dreaming. Keep creating.